Hi, and welcome back to Social Studies. Hope you all had a great break and are ready to work hard. So we're still working on our family traditions unit. We started it before the winter break, and now we're going to finish up with a few more traditions that some families might celebrate. Exploring our own family traditions and those of others in the world around us, lesson 10. You'll need this sheet of paper. We started it right before our break. We talked about Christmas and Hanukkah. And today we're going to learn about Kwanzaa, another celebration that happens here in the United States and other places. So if you need to pause, hit the pause button and then come back and start again. I'm going to start by reading you a story called Seven Candles for Kwanzaa. It's by Andrea Davis Pinckney. Pictures are by Brian Pinckney. Kwanzaa is like a family day in the park and Thanksgiving and a birthday, all rolled into one. Kwanzaa is a joyous African-American holiday that is seven days long. It begins on December 26th and lasts through the first day of January. The name Kwanzaa comes from the East African language of Swahili. It means first fruits of the harvest. Since ancient times, in countries all over Africa, families have joined together to celebrate the end of the harvest and the beginning of the new planting season. With vegetables, yams, and fruits are ripe for gathering, families rejoice in a first fruits festival. Kwanzaa is a holiday that began in America. It is a time when people whose ancestors come from Africa celebrate their African heritage. To get ready for the holiday, families decorate their homes with Kwanzaa symbols. They place the MK Ka, a straw placemat, on a table. The MK Ka is woven with beautiful patterns. It represents tradition. Muhindi is corn. During Kwanzaa, one ear of corn is placed on the mkeka for each child in the family. Families that have many children put lots of Muhindi on their mkekas along with apples, bananas, nuts, pears, and yams, to remember the earth's abundance. These fruits and vegetables are called mazao, which means crops. Kwanzaa gifts made by hand are called zawadi, a fabric doll with black button eyes, a necklace strung with speckled beads, and a homemade storybook with folk tales from Africa are kinds of sawadi that praise our African ancestry. Grown-ups give Kwanzaa gifts to children to reward them for the promises they've made and kept throughout the year. Children can give Kwanzaa gifts too. Seven Kwanzaa candles are proudly placed in our Kanara, a wooden candle holder. A black candle in the center represents the richness of our skin. Three red candles are reminders of the struggles we sometimes have to face. Three green candles tell us to always look toward a prosperous future. 
For each day of Kwanzaa, one candle is lighted to celebrate a special principle. The seven Kwanzaa principles, called Nguzo Saba, come from beliefs that are held by families in many parts of Africa. These beliefs help us learn, achieve, and grow. On the first day of Kwanzaa, the black candle is set alight to celebrate Umoja. The word Umoja means unity. For Umoja, our family gathers at home. We share thoughts and feelings about the Kwanzaa holiday and relax in the spirit of togetherness. We talk, laugh, and ask Habari Gani. Habari Gani is a Kwanzaa greeting that means, what is the news? It is what we say to start each Kwanzaa day. When someone asks Habari Gani, we answer by telling about the Kwanzaa principle for that day. If someone asks Habari Gani on the second day of Kwanzaa, the answer is Kuji Ka Kulia, which means self determination. A red candle is lit to represent. Kujicha Gulia. This is the day to learn traditions that help us define ourselves. In some families, women teach girls to braid their own hair in fancy styles. In others, folks learn to beat African rhythms on drums and gourds. Habari Ghani. What's the news on the third day of Kwanzaa? Collective work and responsibility. Ujima. Ujima is the Kwanzaa day to light a green candle and work together to get a family chore done, like stripping down an old wooden chair and giving it a fresh coat of paint. When the fourth day of Kwanzaa dawns, it's time to celebrate Ujamaa, Cooperative Economics. For Ujamaa, we save up our coins for one whole year to buy a family gift that everyone can share, like a clock that chimes or a hallway mirror. On Ujamaa Day, a red candle glows bright in the Kanara. Nia is purpose, the fifth Kwanzaa principle. Today, a second green candle glows to illuminate our purpose. This day of Kwanzaa is for reflecting on how to fill the days and years ahead. Some folks dream of life as an astronomer who peers at stars nestled in the dark night sky, or a trumpet player who bebops in a swinging jazz band. Nia, our purpose, is to do what makes us glad to be who we are. Kuumba means creativity, and the sixth day of Kwanzaa is for celebrating Kuumba in every way. Today, we make up dances to perform for our friends. Some dances tell stories about the history of people who live in Africa. Other dances are just for fun. Sculpting mounds of clay or reciting a favorite rhyme are also ways to express kumba. So is planting seedlings on the windowsill and nurturing them to sprout. The third red candle shimmers to help our creativity shine. Faith is Imani, the seventh Kwanzaa principle. To have faith is to believe that good will always happen. To show our belief in a happy holiday, we burn the last green Kwanzaa candle. 
Our Kwanzaa Karahmu, a glorious feast, fills the room with the savory smells of roasted yams and collard greens. To begin the karamu, a grown-up spills a few drops of water from the kikombe chaumoja, the family Kwanzaa cup. Each droplet honors our African ancestors. Everyone takes a little sip from the cup to drink in the warm feelings of family unity. Then all give thanks for our delicious food and dig into our Kwanzaa meal. After dinner, the party begins. The music sounds a soul-rousing rhythm. Everyone claps and shouts, rejoices and sings and dances to celebrate a happy Kwanzaa. The end. So let's look at our form and start writing about things that are used for Kwanzaa. So we'll start with decorations. So like two of our other celebrations, candles are involved. They have a canara. The canara has, is a symbol of every day of Kwanzaa. There are seven candles for the seven days of Kwanzaa. There are table decorations and wreaths on the doors. Let's fill in, under Kwanzaa, the decorations. The colors for Kwanzaa are red, black, and green. And they use wreaths and table decorations and the canara. Next, let's look at the food. They have a lot of different kinds of food, just like your family does to celebrate your holiday. East African chicken stew, corn on the cob, cornbread, just to name a few. I'm going to put another one on my form. So I'm going to put cornbread, East African chicken, collard greens, beans, and more. I bet some of you have had some of those foods, even if you don't celebrate Kwanzaa. All right, remember if you need to, hit the pause button and you can write down what I'm writing. Or if you celebrate Kwanzaa, you can write down some of your own ideas. All right, here we go. Clothing. This is interesting. So there's a special cloth called kente cloth. It has a special print and it's usually very vibrantly colored with really bright colors, beautiful designs. So the first pictures show a man and a woman in African kente print sets. So there's special hats for the men and a special head wrap for the women. And the next picture shows a whole family in matching African kente print tunics, which is a style of shirt. And then, of course, there are Kwanzaa sweaters. Seems like every holiday has its own special sweater. Let's look at our form. All right, on our form, across from clothing, we're going to write clothing made from kente cloth, tunics, pants, dresses, and sweaters. There's a lot of different clothes. Remember, you can pause if you need a little more time. I'm going to keep going on the lesson, okay? And, oh, the different activities. To name just a few, of course, you're going to be lighting the canara every day. Then you have dancing and music and a lot of drums are included in the music for Kwanzaa. 
Also, families have special times when they sit and make gifts for one another because all the gifts are handmade, which is just wonderful. All right, let's finish the last section of our form for Kwanzaa, okay? So I wrote in mine, lighting the canara, dancing, singing and playing instruments, and then I put in parentheses, especially drums. Remember, you can hit pause, give yourself a little time, or the next page is gonna show all three holidays that we've learned about so far, and you could also pause there. I think it's easier to pause right here where you just see the row we're working on. So look what we've learned so far. Look at all of these traditions. So far we've learned about Christmas, Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa. And we have one more on our form to fill out and learn about. But we're not done with Kwanzaa yet. 